Yo, what is going on? The Ape Coach here from Six Pack Gaming, and today we are bringing you another update on Crypto Blades. All right, so as you guys all know from yesterday's video and uh, the recent announcement, they put the Hiko mainnet live for Crypto Blades, meaning you can switch over from the Binance Smart Chain over to the Huabi ecosystem, the Hiko chain, and you can basically restart from scratch on there if you want to play crypto blades right now i have five full accounts on uh the regular crypto blades right on bsc um they're all like 51 plus and i got some four star swords and all that sort of stuff um but i wanted to you know make a video for you guys and and test out this hico network see how much can you actually earn is it profitable is it worth it so i decided to give it a shot it was quite the process to transfer everything over to the Hiko network. There's a lot of extra steps you got to take, um, but I'll walk you through that after. Anyways, I ended up getting four random accounts here, right? Because you got to just mint everything. It's a whole separate market on the Hiko network as well. So yeah, there's no characters. There's no weapons for sale. Um, so you got to just kind of mint everything from scratch. So let me, I don't know why it's telling me to add that, but if I go to a new account, you can see to recruit a new character, it's point four eight skill roughly so you can get a full account for about two skill right that'll get you four characters plus your weapon so that's about 40 bucks not too bad especially when you know when i started playing crypto blades it was like i don't know 150 dollars for a single character pretty sure something like <laughs> something like that uh it was pretty wild so let me get back to this account and i'll show you guys now the rewards have adjusted slightly from earlier when I made my account um, because I was earning more from these fights earlier. I did end up forging a random sword. It kind of sucks. It's not even the same element as my guy, but whatever, we'll take it, right? So um, I'm gonna do, I've got enough stamina now for an 80 stam fight. So I'll just do one live so that you guys can see what the rewards are like. And now it does show you how much skill you're gonna earn. So this is 0.015. Um, which is about half of what it was earlier on today. But I guess that's because of this new payout um, formula that they have in place. It adjusts every hour based on the amount of skill um, that's going into that network, I believe, is is how it, uh, how it works. So let's do this. We're going to do a fight, as you can see. So it's 0 .000675 HT. That's like the max um gas fee that you have to pay and it's even less than that when i when i did my fights earlier but uh here let me pull it up and show you guys how little that is wabi token so 0. 0.0006 what was it 675 or something so that's 0.8 of a cent so less than one cent in a ga in gas fees for the fights which is incredible so let's confirm that and let's see see what happens here pending 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 we'll let that just kind of do its thing hopefully we win this fight so i can show you guys how much we're making here and there we go we won and yeah so it's a little bit less but again mind you that was just an 80 stamina fight we won 31 cents there in skill and the amount of gas that we paid was point zero 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 three nine four. so we paid like less than half of a cent for that fight and we made 31 cents so that's pretty much 31 cents in profit okay now earlier when i was doing my 200 stamina fights i was able to get i was getting about 0.1 skill for a 200 stamina fight um it was 0.1 or 0 0.09 um now if you work that out for a 40 stam fight it's about 0 0.0007 or 0008 um so you would still be able to get how much would that be 0 0.015 divided by two times seven fights in a day times four characters so with a full account you'd be looking at 0 0.21 skill okay and so at the current price of skill that is 0 0.21 four dollars and 32 cents Okay, so minus this is going to be your gas, basically. So about $4.30 US per day. And like I said, you can get started with 40 bucks for a full account. So that's 
you know, a nine or 10 day return on investment, it's actually pretty solid right now. Now, obviously I am expecting the rewards to decrease over time. I don't think it's going to sustain this high of rewards. Um, but you know, if you do the math, there's a lot of people that already have 50 accounts on the Binance Smart Chain, right? I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to send their NFTs, for us to be able to transfer our NFTs over from the BSC to the Hico chain. You know, that could be weeks, that could be months, who knows, right? But if you were to decide to restart from scratch on the Hico network, it's gonna cost you about two skill per account. So if you wanted to open up 50 accounts, right? a hundred skill that would cost you so that's what two thousand dollars roughly but with that two thousand dollar investment you would be earning about two hundred dollars per day right now based on the current rewards payout so um you know i didn't i didn't you know ape into this or go crazy i literally just got this one account they're all different element characters and of course both of the weapons that i'm in it that i got are the one element of character that I do not have. They're both earth and I have everything but earth, but hey, you can't win them all, right? As long as we're still winning the fights, we're getting some profits, I'm happy with it. So uh, yeah, I think it is worthwhile, at least for now, to play on the Hiko network. Um, this'll technically be like my sixth account, um, but my only one on Hiko and like, as you can see, like this, I all earned today, right? So 0.26 skill. And that was after um, buying all four of these guys and forging a weapon. And I think I only put in like 0.6 skill or something like that to get started. Um, and I just kind of rolled the profits into the new characters in that. So I was able to get started on Hiko very cheaply for the most part. Um, so, you know, it might be worth it if you're tired of waiting for bsc and you want to be able to still play crypto blades and earn a little bit of money it's not going to be anything close to what it was in the past right um but it's at least profitable and the gas fees are pretty much nothing they're fractions of a penny so that is amazing to see now i did want to walk you through the process of actually getting how do you go from bsc over to um the Hiko chain, there's quite a few little steps that you have to go through and it's not really laid out very clear in the discord and the announcements and stuff. So I'm going to walk you through that process real well, as quick as I can here and try to explain it the best way possible. There's essentially a couple different ways that you can do it. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is add the Hiko chain to your MetaMask wallet. So if you just type, you know, add Hiko to MetaMask. Uh, there's one by Poly Network here. Follow this. I will link this down in the description. And actually, I'll just put this info in here. This is what you need to add it. So it's the same way that you would add the BSC network. You go up into your MetaMask, you go to uh, settings, and then you go to down to the bottom where it says networks, and then you click to uh, add a network. Okay. And then you'll just add all this information in here and then that'll add the hico chain to your metamask okay so that's step one step two if you have skill on the binance smart chain that you're wanting to basically port over to the hico chain um you can use this poly bridge thing but it was a huge pain for me earlier my skill got stuck for like an hour um and it had <clears throat> it had already processed on the bsc network and on the polybridge network and then it just froze not actually moving to the hico network so it was just in limbo for ever right um it was like an hour so you can do this if you already have skill um and you want to and you want to transfer it across otherwise and i'll link this below as well otherwise you have to use this new butter swap thing that they also mentioned in discord and what you can do is you can bridge your BNB from uh, the Binance Smart Chain over to Hiko. So you're gonna have to be connected on your Smart Chain network. You're gonna have to have some BNB. Uh, you're gonna select he uh, HT here, and then you're just gonna you know transfer however much. It'll say you'll get 0.5. Now the one caveat here is when you're bridging from BSC to 
Huabi network to Hiko, uh, you have to do a minimum of $30 uh, US for the transaction. So a minimum of 30 USDT, which I think is about, it's close to like three HT, or I guess I can see what it is in BNB because you're gonna be transferring that over, right? But it's gonna be about, I don't know, 0.1 BNB. So that's like the minimum that you have to switch over to this Wabi token. So that's a little bit of a pain. Um, anytime you wanna bridge between Hiko and BSC, you need to have a minimum of $30 worth. Um, but then once you've bridged that, then you'll have BNB or sorry, then you'll have uh, HT over here and then you can exchange, click exchange up here at the butter swap thing. And then you can exchange from HT to skill, right? So then you, uh, I don't know why it's not showing up my, oh, cause I switched back to the smart chain. So make sure you're on the Hiko main net then. And so then, you know, then you can switch your HT into skill if you want you just hit swap and it's just like using pancake swap or ape swap or any of those other ones um, But that is basically how you get Your BNB or your HT coins over onto the Hiko network to be able to pay those gas fees because you need to have HT in your wallet in order to cover those gas fees and then um, There's two separate ways that you can move your skill over or that you can get skill on Hiko, right? So you can use that poly network bridge to um, send your skill straight from Binance over to Hiko. You just select BSC to Hiko and then you enter your amount and then you connect your wallet and you send it over. Um, but that was a lengthy process and it was a little sketchy. So I don't know how much I would trust that. The nice thing though, is that it shows that there's about 13,000 skill available to be transferred over. Earlier when I was trying to do it, it kept draining to zero and then would go back to like 200 and then go to zero again. So I think that's where the issue was and I think they've since fixed that. Um, and then obviously you can swap between Hiko and BSC as well. Um, but those are the ways that you do it. And then there's one last step. So a lot of people were having issues actually playing Crypto Blades on the Hiko network. And I didn't know what was going on either at first. So what you have to do, um, let me do the reverse here first and then I'll show you what you have to do. So um, am I on, let me switch my network to Smart Chain. So now I'm back on BSC, right? I'm on the Binance Smart Chain. You can see all my characters have 200 stamina because it's still worthless to fight with them, right? Um, but you can't just switch over to Hiko Network and start playing. It won't, uh, it won't load anything, right? So this is what you'll see if you just try to go to the game on Hiko and you haven't switched it in the options. It just, nothing works. It's all blank. So a lot of people were having issues with that. What you gotta do is you gotta be on Smart Chain first. You gotta go to your options up here in the top right corner. Sorry, I know my camera's blocking it, but there's just an options button right here. And then you're gonna scroll down and it says current chain. Change that to Hiko. And then it'll prompt you to switch your network over to Hiko. All right. And then once you've done that, you'll probably need to refresh. Oh, it looks like it's loading. Um, just takes a minute. So once you change it to Hiko in the options, it'll prompt you to switch over to your Hiko network in the MetaMask, and then you'll be good. You'll be on the Hiko network. You'll be able to mint your characters. Uh, you can forge your weapons and do the 10X forges the same way. I haven't actually looked at, I guess they have raids on Hiko network, but it doesn't look like anyone's, you know, entered them or anything like that. So I haven't really looked into that, but that is an overview. So if you guys were wondering if it's worth it to switch over to the Hiko network, um, the answer is maybe, right? It is profitable right now. Um, and the gas fees are super, super low. So if you're wanting to invest a little bit more money into it, it's kind of a pain because you have to, you have to have a minimum of $30 in BNB to be able to swap it over in this bridge, um, to be able to swap it over to HT. And then you have to still have enough to buy the skill so about two skill for a full account on crypto blades to get four characters and a weapon um and then you're also starting back at level one right so you got to level up the characters again you got to do all that stuff and you don't have 
the option of just buying really good weapons or really good characters in the market because it's a whole separate marketplace and no one is selling anything yet or the market's just not working properly yet. So um, that is everything to claim. You are actually able to claim um, your one day's worth of your rewards per day. So that's how I was able to actually get out this 0.25 skill earlier today. I just withdrew it. You still pay the 15% tax, um, but it looks like you're able to withdraw the amount of rewards that you win in your fights each day. Um, so that's kind of cool. So um, I have my account. I just figured I would show you guys, you know, what it's all about and let you know that yes, on Hiko right now, it is profitable. I have no idea when or if the Binance Smart Chain is ever going to be profitable again. Who knows, you know, no one really knows at this point. Um, so on the BSC side, I'm just gonna be kind of letting my characters chill and waiting until we can port them over to Hiko. And hopefully, you know, the rewards and everything will sustain on this side of things but who knows right the future is uncertain at this point so if you want to try it out feel free to if not it's all good let me know what you are thinking what you're gonna do leave a comment down below smash that thumbs up button if you like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss these updates about current and upcoming nft play to earn games we cover a bunch of them on this channel new games coming out and uh you know old favorites that we're still kind of sunk into and waiting for their revival, right? So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, as always, train hard, game hard, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.